Hello everyone. A surprising paper came out from NASA. 500 meter asteroid venue might hit the Earth in the future. This is our famous. Venue is an asteroid. The, its diameter is about 500 meters. So it's a little bit larger than Empire State Building. Venue's orbit is similar to the Earth. It's rotating around the sun. Venus orbit is tilted a little bit just by 5 degrees. Venu became famous because it was selected as a target of NASA's sample return mission OSIRIS-REx. This is a spacecraft OSIRIS-REx and OSIRIS-REx departing from the Earth, it flies to Venu and then it touched down it sucks its rocks and sands, put it in a capsule, and then bring it back to the Earth. So this is NASA's mission, and the target was venue. This is a very ambitious and interesting mission. This is the actual picture of venue Osiris Rex took when it arrived to venue. So this was a picture taken not from the telescope on the Earth, but by venue by actually going there. The journey was 1.4 billion mile journey. It's amazing, you know, it's very detailed. There are rocks and sands, and you see the surface is not smooth. It's very interesting to see. Osiris Rex doesn't stop here. It landed on Bennu and it sucked sands and rocks on the surface and put it in a capsule. It has a nozzle, like a vacuum cleaner, and then when it landed, it's gonna push the nitrogen air and then sucks the sands and rocks along with this nitrogen and they put it in a capsule. They say they reached the goal of sucking more than 60 grams of sands and rocks. And now Bennu is on its way back to the Earth and then in 2023 Bennu is going to bring the sample back to the Earth. It's on its journey back home. But this is actual video of Osiris Rex sucking the sands and the rocks on Bennu. But this is not the topic of the day. Today I want to talk about orbit of venue. Because Osiris Rex went to the venue and it observed details of the asteroid. Its velocity, rotation speed, density, gravity, all these detailed information NASA has obtained. Then NASA, with the highest accuracy in the history, calculated the venue's orbit, which way it's gonna fly into. And then NASA found out this. So, impact probability to the Earth on September 24th, 2182, there's an impact probability it might hit the Earth with a chance of 0.037%. And then in 2300, it might hit the Earth with impact probability of 0.057%. Don't get too scared. These numbers are very small, one out of two thousands or so. But those numbers are still not zero. There's a tiny, tiny, but there's a non-zero chance of venue hitting the Earth. If you compare the numbers, these numbers are actually larger than the probability of you winning a million dollars in a lottery. If you want to win a lottery, maybe you should be concerned about these numbers. Okay, probability is very small, but if only if Bennu hits the Earth, it's gonna be disastrous. Because Bennu is big. As I said at the beginning, the size is 500 meters. And if it hits the Earth, its power is equivalent to the 76,000 nuclear bombs. So if Bennu hits the Earth, it's disastrous. However, these impact probability still have uncertainties because of the Yakovsky effect. Let me explain Yakovsky effect. So when asteroids come close to the sun, its surface facing the sun gets warmed up due to the sun's heat and then it's going to radiate a little bit of heat. And the asteroids is rotating. So this warmer surface point to you know different direction according to asteroid's rotation. And then this warmer surface, because it's radiating the heat, pushes the asteroid a little bit. Like I mentioned 
in uh, case of the Pioneer anomaly. Radiative heat is going to push the asteroids a little bit. And then, depending on which way this warm surface is facing, asteroid orbit is altered just by a little bit. This change is very very tiny bit. But while asteroids is going around the sun many hundred years, then its course is going to be eventually changed. And then this Yakovsky effect is very very difficult to calculate. So there's an uncertainty in orbit and the impact probability. Next time, in 2135, Venue is going to come to close to the Earth. And at this time, we can observe and calculate this Yakovsky effect very accurately. Then we know more accurately what's the orbit of the Venue and then what's the probability to hit the Earth. So we have to pay attention to Venue in 2135. That's a little far in the future, but in 2023, Venus is going to return the sample as Osiris Rex is going to return Venus sands and rocks to the Earth. And in these sands and rocks might have hints to reveal the origin of the solar system. So let's wait for the exciting news in 2023. Okay, I stop here today. Your comments and questions are welcome down below. If you like the video, please like and then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time. Bye bye.